And I ask that the Holy Spirit speak through me, to me, and through me, Lord God. Let something be said that will inspire your people on today. Let Brenda sit down and Holy Ghost, you have your way. I surrender it all to you, and I'll give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Jesus. So I went to 2 Samuel for some reason, and I found this story, and if you will, we're going to walk it down together. Amen? Amen. 2 Samuel 13 says, And it came to pass after this. That Absalom, the son of David, everybody know old, old David, right? King David. Hey, this is his son. Make sure y'all understand where we're going, okay? Just in case you didn't know the history. King David had children, and this is his son, okay? His son, Absalom, the son of David, had a fair sister. Fair means beautiful. <laughs> it means beautiful. And his sister name was what? Tamar. Tamar. And Amnon, the son of David. Wait a minute now. We had two sons now. We got Absalom and we got who? Amnon. And they both are who? David's sons. Okay. And we just read that they had a what? Sister named Tamar. So we all in the family. Yeah. Brothers and sisters. Yeah. Stay with me. All right. You got the pigs. Ooh. And Amnon was so vexed that he fell sick. For who? Tamar. For his sister, Tamar. For she was what? A virgin. A virgin. Not only is she beautiful, she ain't been with nobody else. She's pure. She's pure. Yeah. Uh, and Amnon thought it hard for him to do anything to her. Like David is still our dad. Okay? Fix it. Tamar is still his sister. Our sister. That's right. Though those two didn't have the same mama, that's right. Mm -hmm. They did that's have the same, same dad. father. That's right. And he said unto him, Why art thou being the king's son? Lean from day to day. This is saying that at this point, Amnon is causing himself to be seasick. Because he wanted her so much. So much so that it's recognized that he done lost weight. He lean. Sick. Sick over his sister. How much she got? That's a thin line. Come on. Between what? Paint that picture. All right, for God's sake. Jesus. Ooh, why are thou being the king's son? Now everybody knows the king can have whatever he wanted. And because he was the king's son, he could get those privileges as well. Ooh. And he said unto him, why art thou being, being the king's son, lean from day to day? Wilt thou not tell me? What's going on? And Amnon said unto him, I love Tamar. Ooh, I could just drink her bath water. Uh, I, I love me some Tamar. Uh, my brother, Absalom's sister. Now see how he's fixing it already his in brother. his mind. His that he's detaching that the fact that that's his, his sister. sister. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. He getting off of that, Fixing his mind, eh? Fixing his mind <coughs> for something he already know is wrong from the wow. beginning. Wow. Wow. Come on. Ooh, hold on. All you got for this morning, bro. Yes, Lord. And Jobat said unto him, Lay thee down on thy bed 
and make thyself sick. <clears throat> now he already looking lean, but he's physically sick, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Jonadab is his cousin. Now the cousin come in, I don't know about y'all, but it's always somebody around yeah. to give you the wrong oh, advice. And this is cousin. Always there. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. And he said to him, just lay down, lay down on that bed and make thyself sick. Mm -hmm. Now he already physically losing weight. Yeah. He's sick when everybody knows he's getting lame about it. Yeah. He actually told the truth about it. He said, oh, I'm just so in love with Tamar. Well, yeah. how would you Tamar? Well, let's just make a plan, in other words. Jonathan said, just make yourself sick and, and when thy father cometh to see thee, because you know your daddy coming. When you're sick. When you're sick. Yeah, he coming. We don't heard this boy is losing weight over here. And he making himself, he looking real bad, King David. You might want to go find out what's wrong with your boy. Mm -hmm. Now he looking real bad. And when the father coming to see thee, say unto him, whoop, we planning a lie. Mm -hmm. I know that ain't y'all. <laughs> you know, whatever you doing, whatever you going to do, let me tell you something. You thought about it first. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no such thing as just was. accidentally happen. Right. You made a plan. Right. You had a chance to escape and turn around. Oh, but if you don't, we're going to have the amen corner come, solidify your negative thought, and then help you do something wrong. Look at the devil. Look at the devil. God, when thy father coming to see thee, say unto him, you got a lie prepared. You got it fixed up. Let my sister Tamar come and give me me. Let, let Tamar come. And dress the meat in my sight. Now you're trying to act as if Tamar would do something to try to put something on you. You turn around and say, no, look, Daddy, let her come. Let her feed me food in my presence. So I can see you fix this food, Tamar, okay? That I may see it and eat it at her hand. Okay. So wrote it up. So Amnon lay down and made himself sick. And when the king was come to see him, Amnon said unto him, the king, I pray thee, let Tamar, my sister, come and make me a cup of cakes in my sight that I may eat at her hand. Then David sent home to Tamar, saying, Go, go down to your brother's Amnon's house and dress him meat. So Tamar went to her brother's Hamnon's house, and he said, lay down, and she took flour and kneaded it, made cakes in his sight, and did bake the cake right in front of him as he requested. And Amnon said unto Tamar, bring the meat unto thy chamber, that I, that I may eat of thine hand. That's what he wanted, right? He did. Which she had made and brought them into the chamber of Amnon her brother. And when she brought them unto eat, brought it unto him to eat, he took what? Hold of her. He took hold of her and said unto her, Come lie with me. My sister. My sister. So you know what you're doing. You know who she is. But it didn't matter. You know, God always gives us a way of escape, escape. Yep. if we just listen. If we just take it. You know, warning comes <laughs> before destruction. Yeah. You're preaching this morning. That's it. Let me tell you. Help us. The problem is we're not sensitive to the warning. Sure. That's right. That's right. It ain't that it didn't it come. It got passed. It's that you ignored it. Yeah, it got passed. That's right. That's right. That's right. You had a one. It came. You knew. You even brought out all throughout the first few passages we found. You reminded yourself she was your sister. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. And yet, there was not enough for you to 
turn around. Amen. Amen. You better get you some Holy Ghost. God. You better get some connection real quick. Because when you go on your flesh, your flesh will always run you the opposite way. You should be gone. Verse 12 says, and she asked him, no, uh-uh, no, no, my brother, my brother, we here. Our dad is the same. Do not force me for such, for such a thing, I'll not be done in this way. In this holy land. Now look, that lets you know that it's been done in other places. Yeah. This wasn't the first time it happened. It just ought not be done over here. In this holy place. <laughs> Some cultures, it's okay. But not here. But not here, brother, and you know where you are. Where you are. Uh -huh. mm. You know. I'm praising God. Woo! Oh, show it to a great. Do not thou this folly. Mm. Don't do mm. this. Mm. And whither shall I cause my shame to go? She telling you what is gonna bring shame. Right, right. 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 She, he did nothing yet but help. Mm. Right. The damage ain't done yet. We can turn around. Still got a chance. Still got a chance to do better. Praise God. Woo! Don't bring shame. And as for thee, <laughs> meaning as for you, <laughs> thou shalt be. You're going to be looked at, he said, be as one of the what? Fools. 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 In Israel. King. He was the king. He was the king. He was the king, son. Now you're going to be known as a fool yeah. amongst the people. If you, you do this. If you do this. Straight to Fix it. Fix it, brother. Warning, too. Yeah. Keep on trying to get your attention. Keep trying to give us another way of escape. Fix it, brother. Keep on trying to help us. Keep sending the right people to you, and yet you ignore it. The choice is yours. Yeah, the choice is yours. It's always out. Now, therefore, I pray thee, speak unto the king, for he will not withhold me from thee. Now, look. In other words, she's saying, look. Just go to, go to the king and ask him to give me to you in marriage. Since this is what you want to do. Yeah, okay? Right. So let's do it right, King David, but don't force yourself upon me. Mm -hmm. huh. How bad he would not hearken unto her voice. But the word says, being what? Stronger than she forced her and what? And lay with her. That's rape all day. That's rape all day long. Y'all men, let me tell you something. Give you this one for free. When someone says no, that means no. No, no, no. Nothing else. Not I thought she wanted it. Uh -uh. Or she oh she's my boyfriend. Or she's my wife. Watch it. The law gets you. She said no. You cannot force anyone to do anything. Should not. So then and, uh, check this out. So remember he loved her, verse one. Oh, after the act. Then Amnon what? What the word say? Hate, hate. Hate, hated 
her. Spell the same 
same way. It means totally different. And this, the Lord sure is not telling you to hate, hate your mama, hate your wife, hate your family, hate it. But He'll say, you better dislike them when it comes to, to me. me. That's right. Hate in this point means a preference. Right. I prefer no you, God, God before yeah. anybody yeah. else. Yeah. Anybody. Anybody. I see that. You proved it to me. That's it. So you cannot just read the scripture <laughs> yeah. and think that's the end. That's right. You might need a little Holy Ghost yeah. right. to give you a deeper revelation on what you just read. That's right. I'm just trying to help. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's your man. Amen. So it goes on in the story in 2 Samuel. We know, 13, we know that the act was done. We know warning came before destruction. Mm -hmm. We know Absalom was her brother. Yep. How many of you know you have some brothers up here somehow to their little sister? What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be some what? Some smoking or sitting, right? Amen. I don't care who you are. I don't care if your brother is about 90 pounds. If something happened to his little sister, he's going and he's going to bring somebody with him to help you get the job. It's going to be some problem up in here. Yes, sir. Absalom heard. Mm -hmm. What happened to him? Uh oh. And I suggest you read it at your leisure. Mm -hmm. He goes on and what he did, everybody come up with what? A plan. Mm -hmm. Absalom said, oh, okay, we're going to have a party. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a sheep sharing party. Mm -hmm. Sheep sharing. Sheep sharing. Well, we all come together and we're going to share the sheep. And Daddy, Daddy King David, he invited and told He said, oh, y'all, come on and bring your men. And we're going to have this celebration. And David mm -hmm. had to know something wasn't right. Because guess what? David didn't come. But he sent his folks. He sent his servant and his son. Absalom in turn turned around. And had given the men an order. And he said, When Abnon comes, kill him. Mm -hmm. For what he's done to who? My sister, for my sister Tamar. Yeah, that's what he did. Mm -hmm. And so, guess what they did? They smiled him. They killed him. And then he went on and left the area and went to stay with his grandfather in another area. Now, what's so ironic to me with this story is that nowhere when I read this chapter did I find David go back and say, son, you your brother. You raped your brother. You raped your sister. You your sister. There was no correction written in the book. No, he didn't ever say anything to his son. Now, keep in mind, this is his oldest son, and he's supposed to be what? Heir to the throne. Hello. So he can have him. And how many times have we looked over things our kids do, parents? Because of okay. yeah. because of their status. Of, or how it's going to affect me. Mm. My reputation. Mm. <clears throat> Even about you, what are they going to say about me? That's the king's son. You did it, little mother. But right. it's going to go back to who? Me. me. To your parents. That's right. It's going to reflect back on It's going to reflect back on me. So guess what we'll do? We just or don't. Sweep it we'll just sweep it under the rug. Never happen. Look over. How many times did you have? Look over, boss. He said, "No, not him." Because he's gonna be. He's gonna be my. He's gonna be the king. He's gonna be the king shortly. I'm, you know, closer to the end than I have the beginning. Wow. And nowhere else in the Bible did I find once David knew. He never even went to check on Tamar. Mm -hmm. yeah. We so busy getting what, what we want and our reputation that we are concerned about the damage that we have done along the way. Isn't that so? Absalom had to kill his brother, felt like he needed to kill his brother. 
in order to give her some kind of honor. Because at this point, once you're not a virgin anymore, whether it be by choice or by force, your clothes changed. You couldn't walk in purity. You couldn't look like if you wear white, it's all good, but that means you ain't did nothing. Everybody know the secret. Something happened. We just don't know who did it. How many of us go around keep holding on to shame? Holding on to stuff that happened to us and, and it ain't your fault. It was never your fault. But nobody took the time to see about you and say, baby, how you feel it? We're going to get through this together. Nobody. Everybody's focused on what getting them back or my reputation. But the poor little victim is just sinking in the middle. She went into hiding for years. For shame. Something she had no control over. That happens every single day to that. They ain't changed. Rape ain't changed. Force ain't changed. Shame ain't changed. Nothing has changed. Mourning ain't changed. It's what are we going to do to do better. See, I'm convinced. Until you stop lying to yourself, yourself. That's right. You can't get no help. That's right. That's right. I'm convinced. Until you get comfortable with getting butt naked on the inside, right? You can't get no help. Until you get beside what other people think. And worry about what God thinks. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing. God wasn't punishing Tamar. Mm -mm, no. God ain't punishing you. Amen. He wants to help you. Yes. And he can't help you with something that you won't give to him. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's, that's, right. Right. that's, that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thin line between hate it's and love. It's a thin love. line. Between hate and love, too. Not love. <coughs> you can flip it either way you want it. Yeah. Every day people get divorced. They've been a man 20 years, 30 years, or whatever. Now they can't stand each other. Mm -hmm. Say it. How? Yeah. How do we go from here to there? Like Just like turning on water and turning off water and Turn it on light switches and turn it off light switches. It ain't new. Uh -uh. Until you know, people, we must die daily. Day day. 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 If we don't die daily, all we got is how we feel. And our feelings go up and they what? Go down. We were best friends for 20 years. Now you stepped on my shoe and I hate you. How about creating me a clean heart? Yes. And renew what? Because the wrong spirit creeps up on his own. Every day. Every day. And it always got to look John a cousin, a friend, or somebody to come and stir the pot. A little seed with a thorn in it. <laughs> Proverbs 16 and 6 says, oh, 16 and 6 something, it says, the Lord hates a lot. That's right. The 16's the Lord hates. I can't get back. The Lord hates a liar. That's right, dude. Not prefer. Mm -hmm. Not that hate right there. Detest mm -hmm. that hate right there. Yeah. That one right there. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> he detests a liar. Not a lie for convenience. A lie for something. Else. A liar, period. Because he cannot, he could, he will not help a liar. Because you looking. Unlike what he created you to be, you looking like the adversary, the enemy. Amen. The father of what? Nice. Nice. Come on, right. 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 
to stand neutral in our own home. Mm. And when we are neutral, it causes our children to That's right. Go to the not follow God. That's it. Mm. That's it. Make a There's no way that we can we can say that we don't understand what she was saying today. Right. There's no way. Because as we look around, we see the children are falling by the wayside. Yeah. He even started with the first family. Came through his brother because of something that his dad did. And I say that easily. And I thank God for the evangelist bringing forth some of the key points about the things that we do, we will be responsible for because the Lord said no longer will we be able to say the sins of my father. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's going to be, it's, it's, the sins is pointed toward us. Yes. 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 So we have no reason not to be able to say, Lord, I have sin against you. I have fallen by the way. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Every day we walking in the steps of Adam, we are infected with the blood yeah. of Adam. Come on, man. Come on. So with that being said, if you know that you are destined to leave this earth one day, oh, yeah. it's a good time to say, Lord, here I am. Yeah. 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 <coughs> Jesus paid a price. He paid a price that no other man could pay. He came here. 42 generations out of that same line of King David. And I think, I believe that God is saying to us all of us have, all of you have fallen short. But I brought my begotten son through the line of man. Come on, man. Come on, man. And not only did I bring him, I embodied him Amen. so that I could pay a price that you can't pay. Come on, man. I don't think y'all got me. Here. I don't think listen, listen to what I'm saying. Come on, Come on. She laid it out about Absalom loving his sister because of what his father David did. Yeah. And there are some things that God has done. For us, on, he came through 42 generations, what two? Come on. got in the body of a man, of some flesh, he enclosed it. Come on. Then he went to Calvary because if our pastor go to Calvary, that won't save us. Come on, tell the truth. Won't save us. Won't save but Jesus said to Talestai, it is finished. I have completed Talestai. the job that's required to draw us back in fellowship with God. It's your chance to step forward if you don't know it. Come on, amen. And if you have fallen away, come back. We can pray. Yeah, man. If you have the strength to stand. Let us stay.